The fourth trend for 2024 is centered around care in the context of technology, and we've called it virtual insanity. So it's no secret that technological advancements have taken the world's uh, you know, center stage in recent months. However, with the recent acceleration of innovation, many people feel like technology is happening to them rather than for them. Um, and that's an important distinction. So borrowing from the song that inspires this trend, businesses can't live underground. They can't hide from the oncoming tide of people seeking control of their relationship with technology. So the best approach is to become part of the solution. It's not that people are afraid of the new technology, but a lot of people plan to spend more on technology in 2024. However, people expect these technological innovations to do more for them, um, not for brands. So the relationship needs to be flipped from a consumer perspective. Brands must determine if they are acting as a tortoise or a hare. So the hare might be the fastest to innovate with new AI in advancements, but without a clear direction, these innovations could actually fall on deaf eyes or ears. Uh, the tortoise might be a little slower, but by focusing on the finishing line, which is the audiences or the consumers or what actually makes the consumer tick, it's more likely to win. So brands must carefully consider how and why they are bringing new updates and technologies to their customers. So it's not people's job to adjust to the technology. The brand and the technology should adjust to people. Juliana, what would be your thoughts on this trend? Well, I, I think this is my favorite space. And it's basically because it's a white paper to be written. And it's up to us to decide how we want to play in this uh, space that goes just beyond the implementation. So, for example, an, an SET uh, we have with Tena. Uh, we de develop the smart care change indicator that is basically a sensor that helps to know when it is time to change the incontinence products that helps to reduce the leak, which is something no one wants, while reducing the waste. Or another example that we have in uh, is with Torque, uh, that we have the Torque Vision Cleaning which builds a cleaning plans for the facility uh, managers and from the cleaning, helping the cleaners on demand to save them time by reducing the tasks uh, that they will need to do, like check dispensers. My invitation to everyone in, uh, that is watching this is really think on how we want to move forward. How is the technology bringing value to the consumers and the customers? Are we putting the technology at our service to solve problems that is people problems or company problems or pain points? Are we being empathic and responsible while using this new technology? And at the end is basically, what is the world we want to create moving forward by using this technology?